whatever it is. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking. And move in your purpose. Amen. God bless you, family. Know that you are loved, honored, and appreciated this morning. We thank God for you. We are excited to continue this journey of encouraging one another. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it together. Uh, what is what is what is the the issue? Sometimes is the question to why can't we just move together? It seems like there's always something that pops up, and and when you when you think the flow is going, all of a sudden something comes in and it rattles things, and you say, well, you know, why is not why is God allowing this? And and God doesn't allow things to happen like that. It's that it's our own personal emotions that we really have not probably gotten full effect of what God really intends for us to walk through daily. Not, not just, no, not just, just, just weekly. No, he, what he intends for us to walk daily. Okay. A daily walk. I was talking with pastor Marcus Richard this morning and uh, just in the conversation, um, we started this to, to commune, commune with one another and say, well, you know, it's really not about physical Pastor, we got to be more about faith. Now, in Hebrews 11, um, here, let me, let, me, let me switch for you this morning. <laughs> amen, amen. We want to thank God for everybody. Um, yesterday's church service was off the chain. I, we had such a great time. Uh, people were saved, people were delivered, people were set free. Um, and uh, we were part of it, you know, together. Good morning to each and every one of you. Uh, Minister Terry has posted the ways. If you want to know how to connect with us, we'll put the, those up now. So the question uh, or, or the, the subject that came up this morning was, do we really acknowledge God by works or do we really acknowledge God by faith? Wow, that could be pretty. That could be pretty dynamic when you look at it and say, "Well, you know what? That that has to be really uh, examined and really looked at." So we have to really walk by faith and not by sight. Okay. Some people might say, well, "What is faith? Faith is complete trust, a complete confidence. Faith is that no matter you see it or not. Faith means you have a a, a complete trust." In faith to manifest. <laughs> See, faith is it, 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 it is uh, is something that faith without works is dead. We're told in the Bible. It also tells us that if we walk by faith, not by sight, we have to know where our trajectory is pointed at and where it's guiding. Are we really focused on the things that we should by faith? Um, faith is complete trust. Do you have complete trust in the word of God? First thing I would ask. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you have to know that, 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 that faith works. So when we're talking about faith as, as being the substance, watch Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, when now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtain good testimony. So first of all, faith must become substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But it says right there, gives you the, the, the fullness of substance. It says that for by it, the elders obtain a good testimony. So by faith and believing, you know now what? You get a good testimony. And it says by faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. You weren't there. We didn't, we, we didn't have eyewitness, but by faith, we must understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. So not only do you have substance and now you draw, draw a, a testimony, you now know that you know that you know that by faith it's already been done. See, faith has to be not just a word. Faith has to be an action. 
Yes, walk by faith. If you walk by faith, then it's not by sight. You're walking by faith to know who you are in God. And by faith, we can now perform the things that God has instructed us to do by faith. And we got to do it by faith right now. Watch this. Then it says, so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which are visible. You were made in the invisible. By faith. <laughs> you were created in the invisible, which was faith. Now, when you believe, remember I told you, faith does not come by believing, but faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God. You know, it, it has to, uh, 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 inner, inner, I mean, it has to, to, to exceed and go higher in the word of God. Oh my Jesus, somebody got that. Where's the oil? It's way over there. We ain't gonna run and get it. Mr. Terry, that's the daily essential. <laughs> But watch what faith does. If you remember in Mark 11, Jesus had did great things, but he says, have faith in what? God. So not, no, no longer do you have faith of substance and, and faith of testimony and now faith of what's been done. Now you have the eyesight of God by faith. What, watch what it says in, 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 in Mark eleven twenty four. 24, it says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. See, faith comes from the substance of your belief. Ephesians 3, 16, 17, it says that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man. So now, don't you also just know that whatever you ask according by faith is given, but not that, but now the, the, to be strengthened. Oh, we had a word yesterday about strengthening. Our workout, our daily workout of being strengthened, not physically. And yes, we need to work out physically because we need to shed some pounds. We need to stay healthy. We need to stay healthy. We need to stay healthy. We need to live and not die. Let's say that. Mm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. But by faith, I am walking by faith and not by sight. Because now faith, what? See, that's another thing you have to you have to get. It's not yesterday faith. It's now faith that you can walk in it, that you can talk in it, and that you can do it. I was talking to my brother this morning. That's how we got into it. We were both both talking about. Well, you know, man, we are, this is really a faith walk. Ministry is not about finances and monies that pop up and, and, and are available. No, it's by faith that God has provided what he intended you to have to do work of faith. <laughs> Second Corinthians 5 and 17, write it down. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Why? Because we got substance that we can walk, that we don't have to uh, uh, question, that we can go forward. By faith. Oh, faith is a good lesson that we can all talk about because watch this. Faith has a history from the dawn of creation. Not just as you as a testimony, but it says that that for it, but for, for by it, the elders obtain a good testimony. It didn't say the elders of yesterday or the elders of tomorrow. I think it's talking to us elders right now. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. You may not be called elder in a big in a big uh, congregation, and, and you may no, 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 no. You may just be a man or a woman of faith that is in position to make things happen spiritually. Never thought of it that way, huh? You want to be part of the building fund. You want to be a part of this. No, you might be that agent of faith that can believe for things to happen and they come to watch. They come to pass. When? Now. Watch this. Romans 15, 13. It says, now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. See, not only do you be as an elder of faith, now you have the Holy Spirit giving you the power of faith. My Jesus. Somebody run, somebody run, somebody run. Say, I, oh, I'm feeling the power of faith drop on me right now. I'm more, I'm more faithful than I ever have been. No, don't worry about just five seconds ago. What are you going to do by faith right now? 
Watch this. James 1 and 6. It says, but let him ask in faith. Not because you see it. You must ask in faith. It's the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. But it says, James 1 and 6, it says, but let him ask in faith without doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. See, you need some substance in faith today. That's why testimony is so important. That's, that's why, watch this. That's why understanding what the word of God was formed by faith and then being in, in a faith agent that you may just be the one to bring it all together. You may be one, the evangelist. You may be the one, uh, uh, Roman 1, 2, 2. You, you may be the agent of faith that can bring it all together. Because you say you won't waver. You say, no, no, I'm going to ask in faith. I'm not going to doubt. You must got to, see, you got to confess some things this morning. You got to say some things this morning you've never said before. Oh, no, come on. You got to challenge yourself like you've never, ever challenged yourself before. So don't quit. Don't give up. Because Hebrews 11, 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. See, if you don't have faith in believing that God is your answer, believing that God is your way, believing that God has everything you need, you're not going to get it. Oh, Jesus, I felt that in the Holy Ghost drop, drop, drop. If you don't believe, how will you ever receive? Talk about what you're going to do. No, if you don't believe, you can't have faith to receive. You can't speak those things that are not as if it's already done because you're doing something that you are stuck in doing. That that you that's your that's your that's your norm. We're gonna be talking over the next couple of months about quadrants, and I think we taught this a couple of years ago, and and I'm not ashamed to teach it again. But you got to know what your quadrants are of important, non-important, crucial, and non-crucial. There are some things that fall in these categories that we must pay attention to on how to react in faith. Jesus said, now what, remember what Jesus said uh, to the lady in John eleven forty. 40, he says, and Jesus said to her, did I not say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Good morning, Minister Carolyn. I want you guys to know that this is Minister Carolyn's birthday week. Yes, it is. I think I believe it's Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. This Thursday is Minister Carolyn's birthday. We're going to celebrate her Sunday. We want you guys to, to celebrate her this week. And then Minister Marnay is the week after. We got some great things coming up for both of them. We want to pray for them and keep them lift by faith that they're protected by faith that we know is done. Because without faith, it's impossible to please. You see, without faith, you can please me. Let me say that again. Without faith, you can please me because you might give me the right thing to make me happy. You might provide the right thing that I need. You might step in when, when nobody else would step in and see, by, not by faith, but by sight, I'm willing to trust you. No, but see, without faith, I might please you, but without faith, it's impossible to please God. I have to be wondering, who am I trying to impress? Who are you trying to impress in this thing? Are you just trying to get people to come and fill up the chairs? Are you just trying to get people to walk down the street? Are you just trying to people to come and sew a dime, a penny? A dime? Are you trying to reach people that they know by faith they can do it? That's by faith. See, because I know by faith I'm pleasing God. And by faith I can show you how to please God. Mark 9, 23, watch this. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. I've told you this and I'll tell you again. If you have not mastered the belief factor, just repent, say, Lord, forgive me. And then work on believing that God loved you. That he sent, he sent, now take the world out of it. Take the world out of it. This is a personal declaration that you have to make with God about belief. I believe that you sent your son for me. I didn't deserve it. Still can't explain it, but you did it. And I'm going to believe today 
33,000 years to the, however, I'm going to believe today that you sent your only begotten son, that all I had to do was believe. And I will not perish, but I'll have everlasting life. See, now you separate yourself from flesh and spirit. You now can walk by faith because you're a faith walker. You can now talk by faith because you're a faith talker. You can now live by faith because you live by faith and not by sight. And you can lift your hands, y'all, and say, glory, I believe by faith. And believing is important. Watch what First Peter tells us in, in uh, ch chapter 1, verse 8 and 9. It says, whom having not seen you love, that now you do not see him, yet believing you rejoice with, with joy, expressionable and full of glory receiving the end of your faith the salvation of your souls see you must transfer power in faith uh now, look look i was challenged to teach on this this morning we were we're still talking about our spiritual uh, uh, uh um, um our spiritual goals but don't you know if we don't have belief and faith what are we making goals for if we don't have if we don't have belief and faith why are we talking why are we doing anything because all we're doing is trying to be seen instead of watch this showing god's glory by faith that all can receive that all can receive that all can receive not just one but all can receive the glory of god and let me tell you something so great about faith i have faith today that you and I can walk together in faith. I, I, I have such a strong faith and a strong belief in you, in you, in you, and in you, that together we can really, really, really see the glory of faith in our substance. Now your substance isn't this, isn't the, it, no, your substance is what's in you that other people can't see. We're talking about the invisible today. Only stuff you can see. Only stuff God sees. You know it. You know what you deal with. You know what you struggle with. Well, today is to let it go. Say, let it go Monday. Today is let it go Monday. I know you study every day. I know you pray every day. But see, we still be holding on to stuff, even in the Holy Ghost, that we need to let go. There's some pains and some things that we still hold on to, saints of God, that I'm willing to encourage you to let go because I experience the same things. Things of the past always pop up and I'm like, oh, I get so uncomfortable. I don't want to make a decision. But you know what? If I'm going to live, the only way I can live is by not dying and not having self, uh, uh, um, self suicide because I just won't let go. Oh, I feel it in the Holy Ghost. There's somebody today I'm talking to that's still dealing with something just because you won't let go. I know you put it aside. Uh -uh, no, no, you've done great. You did good. Don't disregard what you did. You did good. But you put it aside. You didn't let it go. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you think that you're going to receive that manifestation of faith and you still don't believe it? Oh, my God. Oh, I can feel that one there. Somebody took off. Say, you all up in my Kool-Aid. But well, here, let me help you stir it a little bit. <laughs> oh, that, you know, that is the, the that is the 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 uh, uh, the the um, um, conference title for the for the anniversary 2021 is stir up the gifts. Well, let me stir up a little bit of your gifts today. That you can understand, you can have it. You was up. Uh, ooh, I, I'm. I don't, I'm just gonna say it. You but you was up all last night, still worried about how it's gonna happen. I know I'm talking straight to you. <laughs> You've been tossing and turning every night. You walk in faith all day long. You preach a good word. Uh, this isn't. This isn't bad. It's just the thing you got to let go of today is lack of faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. He, God's the only one that can fix it. 
We got, we got, we got, we we got disasters. We got all kind of stuff going around through our country, in our own ministries, in our own family. And you know what? God is, God has everything you and I need to fix it. But do you have the faith? Do you have the belief that it's done? Oh mm, my God. Let it go today. Let it go Monday. I, I, I want to see you. I want to see this testimony in you. I want to be a part of this testimony. I want to hear it. See, see, if the elders obtained a good testimony, then you're an elder too. <laughs> I love First John uh, chapter 5, verse 4. It says, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. It ain't nothing but your faith that has to come to fruition today for you to open up your eyes and see what is right here before you. And know that he did it. Oh, my God. I, I love that testimony. <laughs> I know. Oh, I, I, oh, I, I just saw you ready to say, oh, won't he do it? But didn't he do it? Can I just get a testimony today that he's already done it? Didn't he do it? Then he finished the work. So if he finished the work, don't you need, don't you, all we need is faith and belief to now go to work on what has been done. Just lift your hands today and say, Lord, forgive me. I want to see not with my physical eyes. I want to see with my spiritual eyes what you've already done so I can now get in agreement with you of the finished work. Watch 1 Timothy 6 and 11. It says, but you, a old man of God, Flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, patience, and gentleness. Do you see how they all work together? Righteousness. But you got to pursue. Pursuing isn't just like, okay, Lord, drop it on me. Not, not that ain't the rain. That ain't the, that ain't the, that ain't the glory. No, that is you pursuing the things of God that are available to you to walk in it. Oh, I'm ready to walk in it. I'm ready to walk in it. But you, oh man of God, flee these things and pursue righteousness. Come on, say I'm pursuing righteousness. Pursue godliness. Pursue faith. Pursue love. Pursue patience. Pursue gentleness. Oh my God. Come on, that, if that ain't enough right there. <laughs> pursue, my God, do you understand? That it is so simple for us to just change directions. Mm -hmm. We ain't trying to get caught. We trying to catch. We ain't just trying to get nothing for free. We gonna work for it. We going after it. Oh no, pursue means you gotta engage. Pursue means you gotta, you gotta, come on. You got some things to understand. You know that time is of the essence. Time waits for no one. A day, of, a day is to a thousand and a thousand to a day to the Lord. You gotta know that in this time thing of, of horizontal, we trying to get, break through to the, fifth, to the vertical so we can be in faith with God in heaven. And we can stand next to God right now. I need you. I need the oh, I need thee every hour. I need thee. See, see, you gotta get your needs in order. I gotta say this again. Oh my God, my God, my God. But you, oh man of God, woman of God. Flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Now, that might say to you, what are these things? Anything opposite of righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Anything the other opposite of that. Those are the things that you must flee from and pursue. How do I get saved? I pursue it. How do I get healed? I pursue it. How do I get favor? I pursue it. How do I get love? I pursue it. See, you got to get your, 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 your pursuit all right. <laughs> you got to learn to go after what God has already done for you. And take advantage of it. And you got to know you can. 
If there's nothing else you can know, you have to know you can. You have to know that it's possible. Do you know it's possible? Let me ask you that right now. I know we say a good hallelujah, we clap our hands and all that stuff, but do you really, 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 really know it's possible? Well, if you if, 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 if impossible jump in your spirit, that should have all came to you because you don't have faith. Because mm -hmm. without faith, remember this, keep the scripture, 11, uh, uh, Hebrews 11, 6, for without faith, it is impossible to please God. And I want to end it right there. Because this whole pursuit thing is about pleasing God. And yes, I have just, I just received it. Just then, God said, no, you're going to stay on faith all week. He said, you gave him too much today. Go back over it again. Share this message this week about faith. It's important. Uh, let, let me just prophetically speak to those that are connected to me. By faith, God is doing a wondrous, great work. And you know that 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 this is the just one ministry. That is the that is the new outreach cry for the Now Church California is just one outreach ministries. And we know we'll touch more than one. We'll touch multitude of one. But our ultimate goal is just one. So I say to you, and I say to you, and I say to you, and I say to you. Can you partner with me? Can you see the growth and the expansion that God is about to do? No, we cannot. We, we Look, look, check this out. We can't prove it. We, we, we can't, we, there's nothing I can, I can do a flyer and draw something up for you and all that. No, I, 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 I can't explain it. But if you're a one that walks in faith, you also can see in faith. Mm -hmm. That's what helps you to grow it. That's what helps you to, to excel in it. But you got to know you can't. Thank you, Minister Shannon. See, we're in agreement. But you have to believe that it's just the one. And yes, we are going to highly lift him up. That he'll draw all men unto him, but actually, it's just one. Good morning. Good morning. And so it's just the one. And if we can reach just one and say, you know what? We're doing what God wanted us to do and he called us to do. Then we're now exceeding anything we ever thought we could do again the masses are coming to the lord but we can only reach by one at a time and if we partner together and we say you know what we are really going to be effective in the one oh my god now you don't have to get all worried about how much money you got now you ain't got to worry about how much uh, resources you got now you ain't got to worry about all this but what you can now concentrate on is how to please god amen Family, I love you guys. God bless you. We're going to continue faith throughout this week. I want you guys to stick with us on Wednesday, Friday, and maybe even Sunday. I'm not sure if that if he'll continue me to preach on faith on Sunday. But I know for the rest of this week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, we'll be teaching and continuing this teaching about faith. Amen. I love you guys. I thank God for you joining me this morning. I hope one word to one person is effective that your life will never ever be the same but changed rearranged and transformed by the renewing of your mind i love you if god has put on your heart to sow in this ministry minister terry has put the post on there how you can do it you can go to the now church california on cash app you can go to our website provoke 2000 now.com read the covenant part partner list and if god says be a part of this you know now you are part of this work that we're doing that we're going to reach just one amen Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. Got nothing but love for you. Peace. Hold up, Facebook. Don't hang up. You know, I'm going to say good morning to each and every one of you. Good morning, Minister Terry. Good morning, uh, Prophetess Charlene. What's up, kid folk? How you doing, cuz? Love you too, Minister Karen Thrower. Pastor Brian Washington. Minister Shannon. Evangelist Virginia.
Minister Carolyn, good morning. Well, y'all, when y'all put these, y'all be commenting. <laughs> Minister Roslyn and Douglas, I'll be right there. Amen. So, family, I love you guys. Uh, we look forward to tonight. Let's talk Jesus with Evangelist Virginia Valentine. I think she just said she's going to teach on faith tonight, too. So, hey, look at the faith roll. Amen. And we can all teach on faith. Amen. Teach somebody about faith. Wake up in your mind. Get up in your thinking and move in your purpose. And we'll talk to you tonight. Amen.